On England's Yorkshire coast, cliffs are eroding at record speeds, exposing fossils that reveal ancient climate disasters. KCAL climatologist Marina Jerica is here with what warming waters could mean for life on Earth. And uh, I find this so interesting. Right now, off Southern California coastlines, we're witnessing record toxic algae blooms, killing marine life as our oceans heat up. To understand where this could lead, I traveled to the Yorkshire coast, where rocks hold the story of a Jurassic mass extinction. What I found there is a warning for us today. On England's Yorkshire coast, towering cliffs crumble into the sea where fishing villages cling to the edge of time. It's a landscape both breathtaking and fragile, Europe's fastest eroding shoreline. But with every collapse, we have discovered these cliffs reveal something extraordinary, an ancient archive where fossils and rock layers hold the story of climate change written into Earth itself. We are running out of time in the sense um, the Holderness Coast is the fastest eroding coastline in all of Europe, so we're losing about nine metres a year on the Holderness Coast, which is really quite scary. This is why, as a climatologist and researcher, I came to study in this area where time is of the essence. You can see here the vast amount of time in Runswick Bay that moves from the Cleveland Ironstone area, which was a, a very healthy seabed during the early, early Jurassic time period. Moving just a little bit here to my right, we are able to then move into the early Jurassic and we can see that there was a mass extinction because of the lack of oxygen in the seabed. And that is that darker, Whitby mudstone that you can see to my right here that goes all the way up to the sandstone at the top. So we're talking about up to 180 million years going through this ancient seabed floor that tells a very unique story. South America and uh, Africa are beginning to pull apart. As they do so, a lot of volcanic activity starts to kick greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. That starts to warm up the Earth's climate. The shallow seas seem to have been very badly affected by this warming. We get evidence that many different species that were living here disappear. If you take a bellum knight, for example, a kind of Jurassic Cretaceous squid-like creature, and the the guard, the hard part of that body, can lock in information about the chemistry and the temperature of an ancient sea. These rocks don't just tell us about ancient oceans. They tell us about the chemistry of climate change itself, locked inside fossil shells and layers of shale. These thin, dark layers mark a moment when the Earth's ocean lost its oxygen, killing off marine life in massive numbers. This is called an anoxic event. And we can see warning signs of this happening in today's ocean when it comes to massive dead zones as well as toxic algae blooms. Jurassic Whitby's mass die-off and the recent toxic blooms over the spring in Southern California aren't the same disaster, but they mirror each other. In both, a warming ocean stripped of oxygen pushed ecosystems to the brink. But there is always hope. Life, given the chance, will recover and rebound, and these trace fossils tell us that you know, these things happen, but um, you obviously have to give, give life the chance to do that, and if you make habitats uh, uninhabitable, then that's a, that's a challenge, and, but these fossils can tell us some quite important stories for future Earth. I know it's difficult in a world we live in. Everyone doesn't have to be a huge eco-green warrior, but if we all do our little bit, it's, it's going to make the world a better place. The past doesn't predict the future, but it can inform it. From these eroding cliffs, we're not just reading a record of extinction, but we are being given guidelines for survival because if we learn from what is lost maybe we can choose what's worth saving in whitby on the yorkshire coast marina jurica kcal news well from yorkshire to here here you are yeah, here I am, here <laughs> oh. I am. Uh, but talk a little bit about how you're seeing climate change impact oxygen within the ocean. Well, climate change is making ocean anoxia more common. So it's just happening more often. So warming waters just hold less oxygen. So just an analogy I like to use is warm soda goes flat faster, right? Yeah. Everyone knows that, especially if you leave it outside of the fridge or you leave it a little yeah. unscrewed, it goes flat. So warmer seawater can't hold as much of that dissolved oxygen. So climate change isn't just heating up the ocean. It's actually suffocating it and it's suffocating the ecosystems that are in it. Mm. 
And it's interesting too, because what you were talking about there with like the squid, that was like pretty quick, right? Like a mass extinction with the oxygen loss. But what we're seeing now is like a slower trickle of of populations dying off. Right, they're red flag warnings, mm. right? So we're seeing that these warming waters are creating issues. The larger algae blooms, uh, the suffocation of some of these animals that are washing up on shore. So these are all red flags that were the precursor warnings back in the Jurassic time. Mm. The exact same things happen. And we know that because we're able to look at these fossils like a belemnite, it's hard shell. It actually encapsulates the chemistry of the ocean at that time. So we're able to see that it lost oxygen that the oceans were rapidly warming back then due to volcanic ash here unfortunately due to the use of fossil Bell fuels. Belenite is to you a squid, so that's the... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> it looks it's like a squid, right. but yes, I know it has a, a, a more specific name. But what, what do we do? Uh, I mean, we just have to keep adapting. We have to give animals, we have to give our ecosystems the time to adapt. We have to learn adaption strategies. And of course, we have to stop our reliance on fossil fuels. That's step one. And it will happen. We can rebound. We saw marine life rebound after the Jurassic period. Mm -hmm. So it will rebound, but we have to give our earth the time to heal and regrow. Yeah. Yeah. Knowledge is power. Thank you. Yes, yeah. thank you.